Imagine a herd of sauropods moving about across the landscape, the ground beneath their massive feet shaking just by the fact that they're simply on the move. Hey guys, Mike here and hope you're all doing well and I really hope you're staying safe during these extremely difficult times. But you know, a lot of times when we think about the ancient past, we can in fact look to the modern world to give us a quick snippet and a quick view of what life may have been like all those millions and millions of years ago. If any of you caught the epic show Serengeti in August, you would have seen a herd of elephants guarding their young from some of the black-maned lions. And this was really cool to see them putting their bodies up against each other and in fact forming an impenetrable wall that really no predator could get into or would ever want to get into. You know, an elephant could easily crush a lion if given the opportunity. And I believe that sauropods would have been the same. Moving about on the landscape, you know, they would have moved with their young in the middle of them in order to protect from predators, hungry predators that would have emerged from the forests and would have looked to ambush them. But, you know, we can really look to elephants today as the largest land mammal currently on Earth. And sauropods back in their day would have been the largest land animal as well. And you can really look and see the ties and the similarities that bulk there really is no substitute for bulk. You know, elephants are massive and sauropods even dwarf the elephants. So for a predator back then, for a theropod to attack even a baby sauropod would have been a difficult task if the sauropod adults were working together. Now, if a sauropod broke away, you know, we know what would have happened. A baby sauropod broke away probably may have met its end. If a sick sauropod had been left behind, it may have met its end. But sauropods had weaponry based sheerly in the size that they possessed. You know, an attack on them would have been a very risky endeavor for any theropod to have undertaken. And they may have thought twice about it. So it's really cool to look and see how elephants today on the Serengeti may have acted and behaved in regards to protecting their young in the same manner that sauropods would have done all those millions upon millions of years ago. Thanks, you guys. And we'll see you in the next video.